and we're on. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Shenmue 1 in Japanese. I'm hoping to finish this out today, but we've got the entire third disc to get through, which means a hell of a lot of forklifting, <laughs> which I am very much in the mood for because that's emblematic of Shenmue, and I love it. But first, we must slumber and have sweet dreams and receive texts. So normally, on Monday nights, we have friends over at the apartment and we play Smash Brothers all night. We call it Smash Night. It's a lot of fun. We do it every week, usually. We're not doing it this week <laughs> because my copy of Shenmue 3 is supposed to arrive during the day tomorrow. And I gotta tell you, fuck Smash Brothers tomorrow. So I'm alerting all my friends right now to the fact that we will not be playing Smash Brothers tomorrow. Because <laughs> I have more important things to do. I've got bigger fish to fry. So where we left off here... Arigato, ine -san. <clears throat> ...was, um... We're just getting our job at the harbor. We've got to go meet Goro at 1 o'clock today. And unfortunately, I think... I think this is one of those appointments where you do have to be pretty much on time. I don't think you can go early and trigger it. I'll try. But I don't think it's going to work. Hey, what's up, Dale? How you doing, buddy? Thank you for coming to the stream. Um, yes, I very much hope to finish this in this session right now. I may end up having to, to like take a break and then come back later today to finish it. But it's pretty much got to be today if I'm going to finish it before 3, you know? Oh, it's noon? I thought it was 1 o'clock we had to meet him. Well, that's better. So we'll just head straight for the harbor and just hang out there. Try and trigger the event as soon as we can. Unfortunately, in disc 3 of Shenmue 1, it does kind of have some of that built-in waiting around when you're done with the day at work. And you've investigated all you can. Sometimes you don't really have any choice but to just kind of hang there. Probably coming on the 15s, right? Boy, this, this is Saturday. So, yeah, 15s. Did I even pick up my tape player? Probably can't even listen to music right now, can I? Oh, wait, I did. like an electronica music. An electronica version of this music. Yeah, that bus comes up like a bat out of hell, man. <laughs> Just like barreling through traffic. Sorry, I promise I will not be texting for this entire stream. Just gotta... ...answer these questions about tomorrow. So my friends are planning on having... ...a get-together for some other kind of game, and I'm telling them, like, look... ...you can do that here if you really want, but I'm gonna be live-streaming, so... You better shut the fuck up. <laughs> My friends are loud. I love them, but they're very loud. So am I, you know, when we game. When we play Smash Brothers, there's, uh, there's some shouting that occurs. It happens. 
Okay, so we're supposed to meet him at Warehouse 1, which is up around here. About two hours too early. Oh, Stabbed by a forklift. Yeah, I don't think they're going to let us start it early. I wonder if it would let me train in Warehouse 4 right now. I should probably get a little bit of training in, just so I don't have, like, a really horrible time at the final boss fight. Yeah, exactly, Dale. You're welcome here, but shut up. <laughs> nice. I should have bought the Crawl Cyclone, just for Chai, because that's what's really good against him. Oh, look, they're still giving me the upgraded Mud Spider, even though I haven't trained it at all. Alright. And I get an upgraded Brutal Tiger now. You know, on some level, I'm not even mad that you get your upgraded moves really early in this version of the game, because of the, <laughs> the glitchiness of it. But it's inconsistent. Just because it's letting me do that now, doesn't mean it will later. So... I might get into a fight with somebody, and I might find that uh, I don't have the upgraded version anymore. Also, look at look at these move levels. I don't know why they're all so high. That's just absurd. Like, so when I go to sleep, it has been training all moves by default because I haven't selected anything else. But we've only been in-game for a couple days, really, because I've been cruising through this game, so they still shouldn't be that high. Oops. I should have signed something good to the L. Have I done that? Mud Spider would be a good one for that, because it's not exactly easy to do. Alright. Still have to do the input to train it, though. You can't cheat on that. Because if that was the case, you could just assign every move to L when you want to train it, and then you wouldn't actually be getting training with it. Can't remember what Pip Flow looks like when it's upgraded. I think he comes back out of it a lot more quickly. Instead of, like, taking that big step back. think. Elbow Slam is good too. I should train this thing up. I always like the Elbow Slam move, but I, I never use it that much because there's just other moves that I like more. And I just don't think to use it that much. One more session. We'll try... We'll try to get the cutscene again at 11. Getting the swallow dive soon too, which is another move I quite like. If you guys had any idea how many hours of my life I've spent just doing this right here, <laughs> getting all these moves maxed out. I did it completely. Um, at least twice back in the day. In Shenmue 1, I had every single move maxed out. Other than throw moves. I can remember doing it twice. It may have been even more than that, too. Yeah, 
Yep, still too early. Thought I remembered this one being very precise. Well, we can run back here and uh, get some capsule toys. We'll pretty much have time to buy one, and then we'll just have to turn around and come back. Maybe I'll just go talk to Tom instead. Tom and no money! I should buy a hot dog. Tom. Hi! Very fine, eh? <coughs> Real. Nanka tabeteku? Yeah, mata kondo ni suru yo. Damn it, Ryo, did you not listen to me? I said I wanted a hot dog. Very fine, eh? Oh, another winning can. That's awesome. Now they're talking about how they want to bomb my live stream. Bastards. I'll also really close this program on my computer because it'll make the stream run a little better. Okay. To turn in this winning can, then it'll be just about time for Goro. Hi, hi, Arigato Hi, hi, see my son, Koreo. Hi, hi, Kujio Ikai, Dozo. Come on, number four prize. Number four. Do it. Hazreka. Hazre deshita. Oh well, maybe next time. I do remember reading that somebody thought that they had really upped the percentage of winning cans in this version of the game. I don't think it was, like, scientifically done at all. They just said, like, yeah, I played through it, and I drank a lot of soda, and I got a crap load of winning cans, like, way more than I ever did before. And I guess I've gotten two out of, what, four or five sodas? Which is a pretty good rate. I'm not sure if it's more than it used to be. I guess it probably is. Now that I think about it. What's up, dude? ちょっといいかな。目障りだよ。どっか消えろ。やるまい。あの、あっち行け。あ、デアユ。ちょっといいかな。目障りだよ。うせろ。ボケ。ハブリフェイスですガイハブトゥトゥミトゥゲットロス
don't know. It's still not as good as the English one, I feel. すいません。ノンドーキミを。矢田さんですか。おお、そうだな。弁当屋の舞さんから紹介されてきました。お、おお、弁当屋のとこの舞ちゃん。聞いてるよ。じゃ、早速取り掛かってもらおうか。はい。
And hey, we do know that forklifting is going to be back in Shenmue 3. That's been confirmed for a while. And I'm very much looking forward to it. I hope that it's like really expanded upon. I hope there's just a lot of different routes to take. Osho would be pissed. Osho would be pissed if they knew that this harbor was giving jobs to high school kids who don't even have a forklift license. Foreman's just like, ah, uh, well, it'll probably be fine. Look, if he breaks something, we're going to charge him for it. And he's probably not going to break more than he earns, right? So it'll all work out. <laughs> it's probably the way they see it. Uh, Dale, I think they're called Tines, like T-I-N-E-S. Probably only have time for one more here. This was the worst way to approach this. I made a poor decision. Yeah, that's true. You're not allowed to drive around with the cargo up in the air. お疲れ様です。多くの運転は覚えたかい。ええ、なんとか。バイト代はの、最初は荷物を1個運ぶごとに300円だ。荷物には毎日乗るものがあるから、しっかり頼むよ。はい。乗る間を達成できたら、バイ
if it comes over the mic and if it's like too loud, okay? Turning it on right now. I don't think you'll be able to hear it, but it could cause like a weird whooshing sound. Is that another freaking winning can? Am I that lucky? Oh no, it just kind of looked like it. <laughs> but that's just how the orange cans look, it turns out. We're already starting with this crap. Uh, I want to go home. I want to buy Crawl Cyclone. Not hearing the fan. That's good. I'm glad. If it if it starts coming over for some reason, let me know. I'll turn it off. But I think it'll probably be fine. I don't think we have any cutscenes we need to trigger today. すいません。え?マッドエンジェルスについて何か知ってます?マッドエンジェルスあいつらか知ってるんですかうん。あいつらうるせえんだな。時々海にでっけえズタ袋捨てやって。おかげで魚逃げちゃうんだよ。そうです
All right, maybe they'll let me leave now that it's after 7 o'clock. I think it's going to have to be after 8, though, honestly. Yeah. That's kind of the one area of this game that I'm not a... That, like, it, it really does kind of bother me. I, I hate being restricted like that in games. If I want to go back and screw around in Dobuita, just let me do it. Why do you care? It feels antithetical to this game's design. Um, we could play some neon darts. I don't like it as much as regular darts. It's just neo darts. Sorry, there's no N. No second N. It is different, though. It's unique. It's a lot harder, too. Look at the way he moves his hand in this one. Like, I don't even know how to parse this. That wasn't bad, though. The music's not as good as regular darts, either. I feel it's just overall an inferior experience. But it is interesting to try something different. Because I really didn't do a lot of this, ever. Hmm. I'm always high. I gotta adjust and go lower. I wonder what score you need for a uh, free game. Oh, that was too low. The hell? Mazu, mazu, kana. Getting the exact same spot. Oh. Hey, I got a hundred. How about that? How about that, I ask you? It's 280 enough for a free game? No? Do you not get free games on this one, maybe? Yeah, America. I'll come back and try that more. I actually was kind of having fun there, just trying to learn the mechanic of a another mini game. There's gonna be so many new mini games in Shenmue 3, guys. So many. <laughs> oh. Oh. I've actually already had... Really? It's freaking 8 o'clock. Okay. Let's go make a circuit... around the harbor, I guess. Maybe there's a cutscene we can trigger that I forgot about. We haven't even started our real work days yet, so I don't think so. But hell, it's better than just standing around. Really? <laughs> this is today? 
してると引いちまうぜ誰だやめろお前らなんだお前弱い者いじめはやめろけっ偉そうなこと抜かすじゃねえかこのカギじゃあ今度はお前に遊んでもらおうか何はバイクで俺たちと勝負しなバイクでチキンレースさおめえも知ってんだろう付き合ってやってもいいが俺が勝ったら二度とこの人には手を出すなあいつが合図を出すこの缶からが地面に落ちたらスタートだ行くぜAt nine o'clock, Saturdays is on the 15th and 45s. Damn it, I get them mixed up all the time. All the time, guys. Yo, cheese. Oh, my, Matt d a n g e r o u s no goto. Ah, you are the Aniki Oscar Sose. Nanda, Oga, that's the son of my decaico de Tatamis. No, t h e なぜって Yeah, yeah, I know all about it. I should have bought some more tapes to listen to <laughs> for times like this. Oops. No, 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 no. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Get on the bus. I thought, were, I thought they were gonna make me miss it for a second. Hey, hello, c n o r Welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming. How you doing today? All right, now I'm sure that the antique shop is closed already, but I want to see what time they close. Oh, and then we'll come back and talk to Ari there. That's actually a good conversation, I think. Oh, shit, they are open. They're open till 10, apparently. That's awesome. We go ahead and buy this. 
Oh, lasagna, that sounds good. Uh, this morning I got up. That when I purchased from Takayama and Hida. Neat. Um, I got up and I made myself some macaroni and cheese with hamburger barbecue. Which is one of my favorite meals. So. And I made enough that I'll be able to eat it all day. It's gonna be like the only thing I eat today for all meals. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's 10 o'clock already. Let's see if we can squeeze this in. Tajima. Nani? Ano. Keep <laughs> on. I suppose I should be concerned too. I guess. Now, today might not be the day, but we might be able to get a cutscene with Nozomi in the park if we run straight there. Maybe. Nope, she's not here today. We'll try on another day. And before I forget, let me just read that move scroll. This is one of the best moves against Chai, so if you buy this and get it leveled up, you'll have an easier time with him. I only bought it now because I don't want to get completely demolished in the final fight. <laughs> Oh, hey, what's up, Chevy NBS? Welcome to the stream, man. Yeah, forget Nozomi. I've got sailors to talk to. Um, Dale, macaroni and cheese is, um, think of it, think of macaronis as, like, pasta, like, shell-shaped pasta. But instead of, like, a red sauce, it's, like, a cheese sauce mixed in with it. And you can get fancy with it, too. You can do, like, baked macaroni and cheese. You can do, like, four cheese macaroni and cheese with, like, a bunch of different kinds of cheeses in it. Oh,帰りなさい,Diosa. あ、ただいま。遅いので心配しておりました。大丈夫だよ。11時までには帰るから。あまり口うるさいことは言いたくありませんが。あ、わかってる。Um, it's not commonly eaten for breakfast, but I do what I want. So, yeah. You know what? Let's give Nozomi a call and see if we get an interesting conversation with her. 55880? Is that her number? Nope, 22550. Uh, right now for me, it is 1254 p.m., so almost 1 p.m. もしもし、はずきですが。はいはい。なんでしょう。夜分遅くすいません。原崎さんいますか。望みならまだ帰ってきてないけどね。そうですか。帰ったら電話させましょうか。いえ、結構です。そうかい。本当にいいのかい。
this part of the game so much, guys. This is awesome. Oh, Sinor, thank you for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate that. Good morning, everyone. Jesus. みんな腕を磨くんだぞ。いつもの通り3周勝負だ。準備はいいな。You're ready? You're ready? It is genuinely my pleasure, Sinor. Being able to stream Shenmue with people who appreciate the game like I do and just talk about it with people is like seriously a dream come true for me. Ready? Go! If I had known, when I was like 14 and I was playing Shenmue for the first time, if I had known I'd be able to do this someday, I would have been so freaking happy. Alright, we're going for first place here. No screwing around. Ugh, I knew that was going to happen. These guys are aggressive, man. They'll cut you off. Out of the way, bitch! I'll stab you with my tines! Ooh. Child's play, guys. Child's play. I'm gonna overtake this guy on this lap and I'm gonna leave him in the frickin' dust. It is great, isn't it, Sinor? You know, the Shenmue fan base might not be like the largest fan base in all of video games, but goddammit, we are the most dedicated. We are the most hardcore. I don't think any other fan base in video games can say that they've done what we've done in making Shenmue 3 happen. And that's not arrogance saying that. I mean, like, the developers of Shenmue 3 acknowledge that. Like, it wouldn't exist without the fans doing what they did, so... I think that's something we should be proud of. Yeah! That's a great spot to overtake somebody if you can pull it off. <laughs> I'm trying to play the Shenmue song. It's hard to do when you're actually steering, though. Oh, I can't do it while I'm steering, sorry. <laughs> I know me either, Chevy. I'm so freaking psyched. More clips are coming back, guys! One of the cool things about how they're implementing forklifts in Shenmue 3 is you'll actually be able to unlock new arcade games that way. The arcade games, um, not all of them will be in the arcade, but if you drive the forklift and deliver them there, then they'll be there. Finish! First place, motherfucker! Damn right. Arigato. Little does Mark know I've actually raced these forklifts like hundreds of times in other meta realities. <laughs> I <ain't> no rookie. <laughs> Boy. これがルートマップ。今日のノルマはそのマップに書いてあるからよく読むんだ。ノルマよりもたくさん運べばマネーはアップするよ。わかりました。荷物を傷つけないように気をつけるんだ。オッケー。オッケー。そう、ウェイ
Except that's not right. It's up here. Yeah, I know what you mean, Dale. And I'm really happy that my Let's Play brought more people into the Shenmue love. I mean, I, I agree with what you're saying. Um, games score a lot of points with me if they are doing things that not really any other video games do. It doesn't... That doesn't in itself make them a good game. Like, it still has to have a certain quality to it, but... I think a lot of games these days are very by the numbers, very safe, you know? Because it's kind of a volatile industry, and it's it's risky to do something new, because you have no idea how it's going to be received. You usually have to spend a lot more money on it. And there's just not a lot of companies that are willing to take that kind of risk. So if I see a game doing something that's never really been attempted before, even if it's something that might come off as mundane to a lot of people, you know, it attracts me to it. Death Stranding is a great example. You can say what you want about Death Stranding, but nobody is making video games like that. There's nothing else like it. And that scores a lot of points for, with me. In the unique case of Shenmue... Look, I don't think that Shenmue is a perfect game by any stretch. It's got a lot of problems. You know, you have to look at it in the context of when it came out, though. It was the first game to do so much of the stuff that it's doing. And it was solving problems that hadn't been solved yet in the video game space. It's a launching point for, like, every game that came after it. And for that, you have to respect it, even if you don't like it. And then there's also the nostalgia element. You know, that counts for a lot, too. Somebody playing Shenmue for the first time today might not respond the same way I did back when I was 14. That's okay. Yeah. That is the, the primary complaint people have, is that it's just, it's a boring game. And uh, on some level, I, I understand that complaint. But, I don't know, it's like saying that the only movies worth watching are action movies. You know, if you only watch action movies, you'd be cutting yourself out of a lot of amazing cinema. But, for some reason, movies don't really have to fight that battle, you know? Like, there's people that appreciate all kinds of movies. But it seems like most people only want video games where you just tape down the shoulder button and mow down thousands of waves of enemy drones. And I don't hate those games, like, those games should exist, but, you know, I'll take Shenmue over that most days of the week. <laughs> really? You only played it for the first time last year, Sinor? That's so cool that you you liked it, even though you only played it last year. I assume then you were able to just look at it in context and, and realize, you know, what it was doing at the time it came out. So I think that counts for so much. You have to compare a game to its contemporaries, not like everything else that's out now, you know? I think that's the same logic you can use to look at something like, um, like Zelda Ocarina of Time, which was the first Zelda game for the Nintendo 64. It was the first 3D Zelda game, and it has a really special place in my heart, not because it's necessarily, like, the best designed Zelda game, but because it was so amazing at the time. Um, the fact that it was the first 3D Zelda game, it brought, it brought everything into the 3D fold, and it did it so well. It just, it solved those problems, and it created, like, the blueprint for the series going forward, you know? And that's, that's amazing to me. Just thinking about how they did that.
Chevy also played it for the first time last year. <laughs> Got a lot of newbies here. That's awesome. I'm so happy that even today there's there's new people finding and loving Shenmue. That just warms my heart. Yeah, that's exactly right, Sinor. Shenmue did this amazing thing where it just, it made the game feel so much larger than life. Like, the very first time I played this game, there was just this ever-present feeling like anything could happen in this world they made. Even though it, like, on the surface it was very mundane, just playing as, like, a teenage kid in a regular Japanese city in 1986. You know, it, it wasn't tapping into, like, the mythical or the fantastic or anything, but the potential there just felt like like nothing else, you know? It made this, like, living, breathing world and it made it feel so alive compared to everything else. There's a lot of complexity to the Shenmue story, too. There's a lot of angles to it that never even really get discussed. Like, everybody... Everybody who is a Shenmue detractor... Uh, loves to bag on the forklift section. Because they just say, like, Oh, why would I want to go to my job in a video game? I have a real job that I go to. And I, I get that on some level. But, like, one, you're ignoring the part where, like, it's a video game. And this, this is... Like a mini game within a game, giving you an objective to strive for. It's giving you a direct return with the money that you earn. And it also serves as like a, a centerpiece for, um... Hold on, I'll come back to that. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? おめえ、真の手先か。真なんてやつを知らない。本当に知らない。てめえ、とぼけんじゃねえ。やめろ。That's cool. Shingo Murasaki, do I really have to kick your ass again? I mean, I will. I don't know how that ever connects, that mud spider. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Why don't you settle down for a second? Oh. This is uh, actually really bad. I'm kind of getting my ass kicked here. So I'm trying to be fancy. Wow. Why are these guys so tough? <laughs> I should have been training in this game, man. <laughs> My Rio's so weak. My Rio's so weak. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try that again. You know what's really interesting, guys? This cutscene always made me feel so bad for Mark in the English version. What the hell? Because he's like, hey, my lunch. Like, he sounds so sad that his lunch got kicked into the ocean. But in Japanese, like, it makes me laugh. He's like, what the hell? Okay. This time is different. No screwing around this time. Oh, why do the throws keep failing? Wow. Ugh. You can never land those kicks in this version of the game. It doesn't work. 
like one aspect of the combat that just glitched and they never fixed it. Oh, let me try, uh, let's try Crawl Cyclone. Yeah, there it is. I gotta assign that to L, actually. Kick him! You can't land them. You can't do it. Oh, that was cool! <laughs> Got them both with one pit blow. Thank you, Ryo. Aitsurawa. Aitsurawa. Mad angels. Mad angels. Why are you here? Why are you here? I'm going to be a good man. I'm going to be a good man. I'm going to be a good man. I don't know, but... The Chin Taijin and the Mad Angels... I can't believe I lost that fight the first time. That was freaking embarrassing, man. Uh, yeah. One of the things that's really cool about the harbor... Uh, was the point I was trying to build to before is that... Um, it kind of serves as um, an example of how different Ryo has become. Because up until this point in his life, he's lived a very normal life, going to school, learning martial arts, having friends, stuff like that. And then he comes to this harbor, and he gets a normal job working here, and he should have it made, right? He's making, like, really great money, it's a normal-ass regular job with people that are cool. Uh, but it doesn't work for him because he can't fit into a normal life anymore. It's like the harbor just completely rejects him from the ground up, because that's not the kind of person he is now after his father's death. It's just a constant example of a normal life just spitting him back out because he can't live that way until he finishes what he has to finish. And I think that's one of the main points of the harbor job section in the game. Mark, Ryoka. Ah, you have already been able to do it? Well, that's it. That's it. I'm waiting for you, Ryo. Ah, try it. Ah, Ryo, do you have a friend? No. Ine-san's crying right now. Maybe Fuxan is too, but I don't really care about that. Where are my co-workers? Are they still... Are they out here eating lunch right now? No, they're not here today. Oh, uh, let's see. Which day do we learn Swallow Dive? I don't think it's today, unfortunately. Yeah, sorry, man. <laughs> Fuxan's just like... He is what he is, right? I like him a lot more in Japanese. In English, I just want to punch him in the nose all the time. You're not going after them! Please, don't! Look what they did to Hatsuki-sensei! Wow, thanks a lot for those kind words, Mad Thinker. That's that's very sweet. I appreciate it. Thank you for coming to my stream. And I understand that you've got to go. But uh, I appreciate you dropping in, man. Have a good night. I don't know why Twitch feels like it has to censor Fuxan. <laughs> I guess it's just too close to Fuxan. That's a great nickname for him, though. Fuckboy-san. That's what I should call him from now on. Fuck boy son. In Shenmue 2, when Ryo tells Fang Mei he doesn't miss Japan, Ine san started crying. <laughs> yeah, she did. She's she was crying through all of Shenmue 2, I think. <clears throat> Let's get in one round of Neo Darts before we have to go back to work. That's we only get a two hour break, so you know. <laughs> hey, what's up, Jansky? Thanks for coming to the stream, man.
Can I take it from your username that you're in Poland? Yes. That was close. when to actually throw this. Yes. Yes. Seems really difficult to get a bullseye in this one. Oarika. Maybe next time. I'm gonna keep coming back to that. I'm actually enjoying that now. I never liked it before. It is chill darts music, but it's still not as good as the regular darts music. Chasing the pigeons. Yeah, I think actually, I think a lot of my viewers are from Europe or like other parts of the world that aren't America. I don't know why. I mean, it's awesome. Like, I'm grateful. I, just, I don't understand why it's, uh, it's so many not Americans who enjoy my content. <laughs> Yes, Mr. Charlie. The berry music. I don't know. I don't know. It's the most ridiculous song I've ever heard. I would play that music in my car. I would bump it. We got people from Poland, we got people from other parts of Europe, we got people from California, we got people from Georgia. It's awesome. Very eclectic group of Shenmue fans we got here. It's one of the great things about Shenmue, man. It brings people together all over the world. Everybody can appreciate it. Germany and Finland. It's freaking awesome. Whoops. Oh. Did a bad job with this one. Have trouble getting that last one in there. My stacks got very uh, out of order. International long couch, that's me. Everybody knows. Oh, you guys are being so sweet today. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually going to try and put this one down first. It's 
gonna be problematic. Hey, how about I bring him over here? That's a better idea. Two more. We're gonna have a lot of extra time today. <laughs> I'm too good at forklifting, guys. But yeah, I really appreciate you guys coming out and watching the stream. Um, if I can speak selfishly for a second, actually, hold on a second. Hey, boy. Oh, Nanda, しんいりはかならずGet a crawl cyclone in. <laughs> Come on. Just relax, buddy. There we go. Gotta get that move practiced up, guys. God damn! Boy, oh my touch. No! That's why they harass Tom, because Tom no money. <laughs> Tom no money! <laughs> That's great. Oh shit, what was I saying? Oh yeah, um... <laughs> if I can speak selfishly for a moment, um... I really appreciate you guys coming out to these Shenmue streams, because... When you're first starting out on Twitch, it's, it's pretty difficult to get a following. And I'm on what they call the path to um, affiliate right now, where you have to meet certain metrics in order to become an affiliate of Twitch and be open to, like, um, you know, extra features and also, like, monetary stuff that, like, people can donate to you and things like that and subscribe to you. So, um... <clears throat> one of the metrics I was having the hardest time with is average viewership. You have to have, like, a certain average of viewers across all your streams in order to be considered. Um, and for a while, I was having trouble meeting that metric, but uh, with the Shenmue streams, it's gone up a lot. And um, I think I'll be meeting that metric soon, so you guys coming out and watching these is actually helping me out a lot, and I really appreciate it, so thank you. Um, but that's not to say that I don't appreciate you watching, you know, the VODs or the YouTube backups or whatever. Any, any support is always appreciated. And I, I hope that's always clear. Um, so this is one sucky part of the forklift section, though, is I literally have nothing else to do. And I have to just drive around for another hour until the workday ends. <laughs> so I'm just going to, like, cruise around and do donuts, I guess. Yeah, that's kind of the weird thing about having so many, um, so many people outside of America who want to watch my streams is the, the time zones really jack that up, which is unfortunate. On the when it's the weekend for me, I can stream a little earlier, so it's like late night for a lot of you guys, I think, and it's like the middle of the day for me. But during the week when I'm working, I can't stream until I get home, and then that's when most of you guys are asleep. So it doesn't work out great in that regard. 
go move Tom's truck. Yeah, I'll, I'll try that and see if that's possible. It's not possible. But I'm gonna try anyway. Oh, Tom's not even here. <clears throat> He's, uh... I guess he doesn't set up shop until you're not working anymore because he'd be in the way, right? If he was in his normal spot. <laughs> he'd be very much in the way, unfortunately. I didn't even think about that, but that's true. Well, I'm done for the day. I'll see you guys later. Aww. Dude, I just want to make a quick trip back home. I, I forgot something at home. Man. Oh, I see what you're doing. We should start learning some moves from the bum today, which I'm excited about. Because <clears throat> I love those moves. Hey Mark, how you doing? I'm done with my boxes. You want any help with yours? I'll help you out. No? You're just gonna vanish into the ether? That's cool too. Hold on, I wonder if I can do the darts music. That doesn't really work. <laughs> it's hard to make music when you only have access to one tone, okay? Don't judge me. I was driving in the wrong lane. <laughs> I drive wherever I want, Dale. I think most days we probably won't have to deal with this because it's not always possible to finish all your boxes. Or at the very least, it should take you longer than it took today for most days. Tomato Mart! Ugh. Did I tell you guys that some lady crashed her car into the front stoop of my apartment complex? Which is like right outside my front door. I live in an apartment complex that's like a big building with a bunch of apartments in it, but the door to my apartment is right next to the door leading outside, you know, from the building. And I don't know if she was drunk or what happened, but some lady, um... Like, backed up into the the stoop really hard and like brought down the railing and the side of the door frame and everything. The best kind of murder, one that doesn't leave the body. Yeah, it was like two weeks ago. I wasn't here when it happened, but they've been working on it ever since then, and it's really loud. Banging and sawing. Minatonia <laughs> あの、俺、ちょっとトイレに。待て。だや。朝の食い合わせが悪かったのか。腹の調子が悪くて、ゴロだけにゴロゴロってこうなんつって。知ってるんだな。兄貴、その名前。<笑> 
Jansky, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it, man. This is definitely the best character theme, like, no question about it. And, uh, yeah, Sinor, she's, she's fine. Uh, from what I heard, she actually fled the scene right after it happened for, like, a minute. She drove away, and then she came back later. Like, a, like a couple minutes later, she came back and was like, okay, yeah, it was me. <laughs> so, I don't think... I don't know. I don't know. People are freaking idiots, man. Swallow dive time? あ、<笑> やるのか、やらないのか。ヘルいや、ロブスムーブ。どうしてもと言うなら、教わってやってもいいぜ。素直じゃないな。まあいい。まず肩を教える。よく見ておけ。後方に一歩、重心を移し、下がると同時に
the Japanese guy is gonna have a hard time following that act, if you ask me. going on back here okay most of these events during your work week in the harbor you can't really do until it's officially nighttime anyway which means after seven you think three hours is plenty I hope so I don't know there's a there's a lot of stuff that you can't really skip towards the end of this game we'll see I shouldn't have waited so long to start this playthrough. I just honestly I kind of forgot about it because there's so much other stuff going on right now. That's why it was kind of unfortunate that Shenmue 3 got pushed back. It was originally coming out in August. And then it got pushed back to November. And like, you know, look, I'm not mad about it. If they needed the time to polish it off, great. Make it as good as you can. But there's a lot of other stuff that I also wish I could be playing right now.待っていたぞえ、じいさん。どうしたんですかこんなところで。助けてくれた例にいいことを教えてやろうと思ってな。まあ口で言ってもわからんじゃろ。どうじゃ、わしを一発殴ってみ。俺がじいさんを。<笑
日々怠ることなく精進することじゃ縁があったらまた会おうあ待ってくださいなぜ葉月りをしていたんですか武術家の間で葉月の名は知れておった宗家である葉月岩尾もまた一目置かれておったよ若いのになかなかの人物とな親父がでもおじいさんはその技をなぜあの時うーん<笑>戦うばかりが脳ではあるまいって逃げるが勝ちと言うじゃろう<笑>人目につかず練習するなら四番倉庫じゃわしもたまに使わせてもらっとるがの日々練習を怠らんことじゃ<笑>Particular playthrough of this game, I'm kind of assuming that people know the overall story of Shenmu. And yeah, the motorcycle part is, um, <laughs> that's gonna be rough, probably. They're not gonna let me go home just yet, are they? Wow, really? Okay. I didn't think they would. It's good, though. Alex Kid, welcome to the stream. Uh, yes, I'm going to be streaming the hell out of Shenmue 3. Um, probably from the time it is right now, right this moment, if everything works out the way I hope it will, I'll probably be able to start streaming it in about 29 hours from now. <laughs> so tomorrow around 7 p.m. my time. That's Mountain Standard Time. But that's assuming everything works out perfectly. Which in my life it rarely does. So we'll see. I'm trying to think. I, I think if I was missing any important events from the harbor today, they probably wouldn't let me go home. So it's probably fine to just go back home now. I guess we'll see you tomorrow. I think my only regret in this playthrough is I haven't gotten the double blow. I love that move, guys. I rely on it. And I feel bad when I don't have it. I feel really bad. There's Ari. Tajima. What? I know. If you want to listen to me, I don't want to listen to you again. I don't want to listen to you again. Well, I don't know what the fuck you want me to do about it. I can't even find her. Stupid Nozomi doesn't even talk to me. I wonder if I can get that Inoki fight. I think it's too late for that. Uh, what's up, peeps? What's everybody doing? Oi, Inoki. Hazuki, Temu ka. Omae. Nanda yo. 
Right. He don't want to fight me. He knows what happens. You're not a fan of the double blow, Jansky? It's one of my favorite things. Nope, Zomi's still not here. All right. Then I'm going to sleep. Watch me care. <laughs> I can't believe you planned everything out that far ahead in advance, Dale. That's awesome. Thank you for going to those lengths just to come watch my stream, dude. And I hope I actually get to start when I want to. You know, if the game doesn't show up tomorrow like it's supposed to, then I'll have to push everything back. I hope that doesn't happen. But we'll see. We even get dreams, like, every night this week, just to prolong things even more. <laughs> I think this is by far the longest disc of the game. Today we're going for second place. Excuse me. Good morning, everyone. Jesus. He says it in English and they say it in Japanese. Don't say that, Dale. Don't say that. Look, worst case scenario, if the physical shipment doesn't arrive tomorrow, then I'll have to wait like five hours until midnight, and then the PSN version should unlock by midnight, I hope. And I'll start playing then on the PS4 version. And then I'll just have to, you know, once I get the PC version, I'll switch over to that. How dare you? How dare you? Oh, you unimaginable bastards. This is collusion. That's what that is. I won't forget this. I will have my revenge! Oh, yeah, how'd that feel? Number four. I should be in number one, by the way. I got first place yesterday. It's a load of bullshit. This whole thing's rigged. Crash you in the mark. Two birds, one stone. Or the console decides to update for 10 hours. Yeah, well, that's gonna happen too. What can you do? <laughs> in that case, you know? That's the age we live in. right where I want to be. I'm 
love this rock music that plays during this. Feels like old school Sega, you know? Move on, Slowpoke. I need you to go first. Finish! Perfect. <laughs> That'd be cool, getting paid to watch me stream. <laughs> ほら、これが商品だ。ありがとう。さあ、もう仕事の時間だ。行くぞ。今日もよろしくな、リョウ。ああ、よろしく。今日は荷物を第三倉庫に運んでくれ。マップはこれだ。ノルマを忘れるな
Um, you'll work at the harbor long enough to find out that you stop getting raises at, I think it's 800 yen per crate is the max. Once you get that, they just stop giving you raises. But that's, it's a lot of yen, man. You add it up over time. Yeah, it is too bad they didn't fix it for the remaster. That would have been a really smart thing to do. I don't know why they didn't. It's a pretty infamous bug. I mean, it's it's well known. <clears throat> like, they had to have known about it when they were doing the remaster. Mizuki doesn't get a job driving forklifts. You don't need a license, man. They'll just let anybody do it. <laughs> I know you're old, but you can still drive, right? Like, this job is not that hard. I know you can do it. That guy taking a picture on the right there. It's funny. Otto. Got my face. some hitbox porn right there. Yes, it's certainly dated in parts. There's no question about that. I still love it, though. See, stuff like that, I feel like they they could have went out of their way to fix the pop-in during these parts, too, for the remaster. Stuff like that should have been, like, a no-brainer, I think. Otto. Wow, I hate you people. Shit out! Ugh. That was ugly. Probably should have dropped that on the right. Probably would have been smart. Oh well. Lunch time! Eats. I like talking to all, all of our co workers during lunchtime. Mark, Dioka. Ah, she go to a more than a daga. Ma, Nantoka. Soka, Stai Sterze, Dio. Ah, Gambario. 
あの亮お前兄弟はいるのかいや俺はもう家族はいないんだあ,あそうなのか That's、okay. あのじゃあまた後でな亮ああ Bloodthirsty Vengeance is my family now. Nemakobo san. Yeah, Hazuki kun datte? Hi. Kino Mark san o tasketan datte? Tasketanante. Minato wa arapoi hito ga oi kara. Hazuki kun mi tai na hito ga ite kure ruto kokoro zuyo yo. Yeah, sore hodo demo nai des. Yeah, maybe, Chevy. I don't know either. I ain't no game developer. <laughs> Takeuchi san. Hazuki kun. Mo bento tabe otta no ka? Eh.、Yeah. アルファ貿易は昼飯付きだから助かるよ竹内さんはどうして港でバイトをいやーそれがね勤めてた会社が倒産しちゃってなそうなんですか子供もまだ小さいから頑張んないとね大変ですね<咳>村上大葉月どうだ仕事はああなんとかなそっかまレースって楽しみもあるしなそうだな It always weirds me out how it subtitles the person's name like Hitoshi or whatever but when you listen to Ryo address them he's clearly saying something completely different like he doesn't say the name Hitoshi-san or whatever I mean sometimes he does but not, not always with certain people he calls them something else They always do that with Zhu Yuan Da. They call him Zhu Gen Datsu or something. But yeah,、um, I don't know if it's true, guys, but I have actually heard that like, the clockwork that Shenmue runs on actually relies on having the game run at 30 frames per second. Apparently, knocking it up to like, a native 60 frames per second would actually break the game because it would ruin like, the schedule of the people walking around. And like the behind the scenes clocks and everything. I have no idea if that's true, but I, I heard that back when the remasters came out. People were saying that, like, you can't make them native 60 because that would actually break the game. Yeah, Did I get 100? Sexy. Super duper sexy. Let's do that again. <laughs> hey, yes, lost that one. Yeah, maybe he's saying their surnames. I don't know. It's just it's weird that they would subtitle it differently, right? Why wouldn't they just subtitle what he's saying? I guess because the subtitles aren't the Japanese subtitles, they're the subtitles from the English translation, and in the English, he just calls them by first name, I guess.、Uh. And I still don't qualify for a free game. I guess you don't get free games in this version. Dale says it is because of localization. I guess that makes sense. It just weirds me out. What does Jugendatsu mean? Who is that? I mean, I know who it is, but like, what? Why do they call him that? Get in the hang of this, guys. That did count. Awesome. Too late on that one. It's the Japanese reading of the Chinese kanji characters. Same name, different pronunciation. That is fascinating. Thank you for that knowledge. o s i n a I feel like in this game, just a little bit of movement makes a huge difference. 
Like the timing for the bullseye seems very precise. Yatta. I just did the exact same thing I did last game. Like. Oari ka. Ugh. Okay, one more. Mou ichi do yatte miru ka. That was terrible. Still, the best I can do on this now is 380, so there's like no way I can beat my previous score. Nope. Last toka. Blind dart throw. <laughs> hey, I got something out of that. Okay. That is fun. Still, regular darts is where it's at. I think we can all agree, don't we? Goro! Goro! Jeez! お前マットエンジェルスのことをああうわ兄貴お疲れ様なんだ I wish there were more versions of that conversation It's funny like three times and then you're just like okay No use talking to Goro anymore もうこんな時間か <laughs> Okay. Back to work. Very important things to do today, guys. Gotta deliver all these crates. Gotta fight all the sailors. Gotta navigate all these assholes. positive about this, but I think that if you're really careful, you can actually squeeze an extra crate into the lines. Because it's not counting, like, the actual grids that are spaced out to show you where the boxes should be. It's just, like, anywhere within the outer edges of the lines is good. So if you are really careful and you squeeze them in real nice, I think you can actually get, like, four crates into a line where it only shows spaces for three of them. It's a nice little uh, space saver technique there. Not something you usually have to do though, because you usually have plenty of time, plenty of space. Spastic hands. Is that the uh, medical term? <laughs> Have you been diagnosed with spastic hands? If you've been diagnosed with spastic hands, you may be entitled to compensation. Let's just dial 1 800 spastic and talk to our lawyers. Any time after three o'clock today, once we go past that spot at the split, that's when we'll get the next cutscene. I think. Oh. 
おっと。So probably on the next pass, we should get into a fight. I'm gonna get in a fight with all these jerks. No, get out of my face. They're always right around the corner, like right in your blind spots. They just hang out there. right on three o'clock oh I think we got here like a second too early <laughs> that's funny okay next pass now we've got a rush because if we miss that event <laughs> we're going to do this whole day all over again and I do not want that in this playthrough I just don't guys you understand You have full-on cerebral palsy. I'm sorry to hear that, man. That must be rough. Okay, maybe it's after 4 o'clock? Maybe I got my time wrong? Or maybe it's after 3.30? I could have sworn it was three, but my memory's probably faulty. That happens a lot. Maybe I thought it was three o'clock because I was thinking of warehouse number three. That could happen. Oh, thank you, Sinor. Uh, I actually just got it. It's a, it's a brand new... Actually, it's not a sweater. I know it looks like one, and I actually ordered it online because I thought it was a sweater, and it's not. Hey, you! Schoolboy! Schoolboy. Omaera. Yeah. forklift kodomo ga ijittara. Dangerous! Abunai, ne? The random English interjections. Okay. Just crack me up for some reason. Me touch Kega Sasatara. You are Kubine. Oh, E Taxi Ne. Nice cab. Uchimade Okute Kudasai. You got that buster? You got that buster? <laughs> I don't think so, Charlie. If anything, I think it just might make them stop. But you have to honk a couple times before they back up. It's showtime. It's showtime. This is a 
bad corner, man. Can't see shit. Wait a second. I have a new move just for this scenario. I just can't get it to work. There we go. Yeah! Hey, where'd this other guy come from? Wave me. Good enough. Smith and Tony. What do you guys want? Beat your ass once before, I'll do it again. Is it a game? I love when you run behind him to kick like that. It's so good. Oof. Swallow dive. Swallow dive. Mud spider. Dark side Azuki. Windmill kick. I know all the kung fu. Should we ever forget? God damn! <laughs> Help me! Mad Angels are where are they? Ah, those are the 17th Soko's locker. The 17th Soko. Ah, the Soko's front door. Really? Don't you dare to say it. Yeah, so this shirt is actually, um, I don't know if I can get it, like, a good view of it on the webcam. It's a, it's from the first, it's from the first Ninja Turtles movie. You see it? It's like, uh, it's Donatello and Michelangelo when they're hanging out in the sewer and Michelangelo says, pizza dude's got 30 seconds. <laughs> but it's done in the style of like an ugly Christmas sweater. So I, uh, I, I, I got, I got got by Facebook advertising. I saw it as like a paid promotion on Facebook and I was like, I need that. Cause I thought it was a sweater. So I ordered it and then it turns out it's actually like a, it's like a polyester and spandex blend. So it is not a sweater. But it's still a really cool design that I like, because the first Ninja Turtles movie is one of my all-time favorite movies. I think it's amazing, I think it's incredible. And the idea of an ugly Christmas sweater featuring that movie just really appealed to me. So even though it's not really what I thought it was, I'm still happy I have it. Oh wow, that took all of our time, guys. It's almost five o'clock already. That's fine though. Probably for the best. It's gonna be the last one we have time for. Yeah, it looks like a sweater, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. I actually, I probably prefer that, honestly, because like, I'm a bigger guy, right? Obviously. And I don't like hot weather in the first place, so, like, I very rarely wear warm clothes. Like, even if it's, like, below freezing, I'm usually good with just, like, a hoodie and a t-shirt, so. Hey, what's up, son? Hello, today's night is the night. Hello. Han-chan, the norm is the same. Tomorrow, I'll up 50 yen. I'll give you one of the items. I'll give you 400 yen. Uh, Mr. Charlie says it's weird that Smith and Tony run from you in the tattoo parlor but keep fighting you in the harbor. I think that is because um, in the harbor they had other people with them. They had backup. So they were a little bit more braver than they would have been otherwise. In the tattoo parlor it was just them. And they were fresh off an ass kicking during that scene. 
At this point, it's been a little while since we ran into them, so... Oji-san. Oh, Onushka. Doja. Shoujin shitoruka. Eh. Yosh. Honja tsugi wa... Oyo o oshetoite yaru ka, no? Oyo? Kagemi no desu ka? Mendoja gara. Ichido shika yaran. Yoku mite oke. この間教えた時は相手の背後に回り込むだけじゃったが今度は回り込んだ後相手の首に手刀を落とす無防備の首は予想以上に脆いからの力の加減に気をつけることじゃ回り込んだ後即座に手刀を打つのがコツじゃ よく練習しとくとよかろう。わかりました。ありがとうございます。Yay, Shadow Blade. Yeah, I actually like those kinds of sweaters too, Dale. But like, calling them an ugly Christmas sweater is like, that's like the actual category. That that's like a, it's a category of clothes unto itself at this point. <laughs> the whole point of them is to be ugly, so. I think most times when people say that, it's not meant to be an insult. It's like, oh yeah, like you did a great job on your ugly Christmas sweater. That's how I take it anyway. It's like, uh, it's like the imperfectness of it makes it good, you know? So he mentioned Warehouse 17. I don't know if we can trigger whatever's going to happen back here just yet. We have to wait till dark. Or not. Mark catches a beating at this part, man. Oh. Shin me one camera, man. Natural consequence of taking the Virtual Fighter fighting engine and turning it into like a multi person fighting engine, I think. Because it was not originally conceived that way, you know? This guy's tough. Do a shadow blade. Yes! <laughs> that feel good? Did you like that? Want another one? Got plenty more where that came from, homie. That's just you and me now, Shingo. Not so tough without your buddies. I felt good. Remember it, write it down, take a picture, I don't give a fuck. No problem. No problem. マークは弟を探していたのかたった一人の弟両と同じ年頃だだが今はもうマッドエンジェルスの手で海の底かもしれないマークの弟はマッドエンジェルスにああ重要な情報を漏らすというミスを犯したらしいそれで奴らに多分
Si Umo ka? 100% agree, Sinor. The Shenmue soundtrack is the greatest video game soundtrack ever produced. I believe that 100%. I'll fight anybody who wants to argue about it. And yeah, the <laughs> the first person fighting is weird in Shenmue 2. It's so odd how like Suzuki talked about how he did that as just like sort of an experiment. But like why include it in the full game if it was an experiment? Why not just experiment while it was in development? I guess they thought it was good enough to include. And, um, I don't know. I don't think it works super great. I'm not a huge fan of the first person fighting in two. I'm glad that they only did it in that one area. But it also did give you a little bit of experience with fighting in first person when you, um, fought that, that one-eyed guy in the street fight. So, like, in that regard, it was it was a good primer for that, I guess. Right. Well, now's probably a great time to go talk to the Chens. I've got some things they can translate for me. Silent Hill 2 soundtrack is the best one for you, Sinor. I confess I'm not super familiar with it. I've played Silent Hill 2, but it's been a really long time. So I don't remember it super well. That is a great game, though. I will never forget how that game came out the same day that Eco came out on the PlayStation 2. That was a great day. <laughs> わが友。好きなる点。ここのつの竜第八倉庫だ。新大臣をお願いします。失礼ですが、そちらは葉月と言います。お待ちください。何の用だ。ああ、聞きたいことがある。新大臣と合わせてくれ。親父は今はいない。
event we need to do here today. So what would you say is the the best way to play Silent Hill 2 right now, Sinor? Like what's the what's the definitive Silent Hill 2 experience? Do you still just have to get a PS2 and play it that way? There's got to be like a like a best version of it somewhere, right? Mm. Alright, let's take a lap around here. I feel like we already did everything we need to today. We got the cutscene with Mark. LucasArts guy, huh? I haven't played a ton of those games. I did play Grim Fandango back in the day, and I really like that. Grim Fandango is a freaking great game. In fact, didn't they just... Not just, didn't they bring that out for the Switch like a year ago? I should really get that. Because I haven't played it since it came out, like, 20 years ago or whatever the hell it was. There's a great mod called Enhanced Edition for the PC version of Silent Hill 2, so I would say you could try that too. Okay. Is that on Steam? I guess? Get Silent Hill 2 on Steam and then get the mod called the Enhanced Edition? Maybe I'll stream that sometime. Silent Hill 2 is a freaking horrifying game. It was really weird playing that and Eco at the same time because they're so... Like, they couldn't be any more different if they tried. <laughs> gotcha. Thanks for the info, Sinor. There's a lot of games I want to stream. Even just right now, like, I, I want to be playing Death Stranding. I want to play that new Star Wars Fallen Order game, because that sounds like it's really good. Um, I need to keep recording Zelda and Mass Effect 2. I really need to finish Sekiro. It's been a long time since I uploaded that. I want to go back and finish Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I have a lot of series on YouTube that I just didn't finish. Because I suck. And I want to play them all to completion eventually. I should be here in a second. Grim Fandango HD came out two years ago. Horizon Zero Dawn, yeah, I really want to play that game because I love that game. There's just, there's too much right now. And instead of playing any of those new games, I'm playing Shenmue 1 again. No regrets. Someday I'll, I'll, uh, I'll also stream some Mercenaries mode from Resident Evil 4. I've been wanting to do that since I started my channel all those years ago. I was like, eh, recording Mercenaries sounds lame, but I would live stream it. Santa! See you, Santa. Merry Christmas! <laughs> 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 oh, Dude, that again, please. Santa. Santa, make my dream come true. Say it again. Santa, don't ignore me, like everyone else in my life. Damn it. Oh, that was funny. I can't even, I'm not even going to try to reproduce that, okay? Because I'll butcher it. I'm just going to let that stand as it was. That was perfect. Yeah, look, Alex, kid. Santa has a hard life, okay? At the end of the day, he needs to kick back and he needs to... Just pound a couple vodka martinis. Nobody understands how hard Santa works. What is this, the second night of work? So, the Nozomi cutscene's probably either tomorrow or the next day.
Reminds me of that Calvin and Hobbes strip. I can't remember the setup, but basically, Calvin's mad that they're not putting out milk and cookies for Santa on Christmas Eve. And uh, he says something like, Dad, don't you think Santa wants a glass of milk? And his dad's like, I think Santa would rather have a cold beer. And the mom's just like, dear. <laughs> Calvin and Hobbes, man. Oh, I missed that strip. The tar monster has ruined Death Stranding for you. I haven't had to deal with them too much yet with what I've played. So they haven't annoyed me yet, but I'm still pretty early in the game. I've really liked what I've played, though. I, I wish I had more time to dive into it, but Shenmue 3 just supersedes everything, you know? So, whatever. Good morning, everyone. You ready? You ready? Racing forklifts in the rain, guys. This is what real men do. Ready, go! So today we want third place. It starts getting like harder and harder to purposely lose. Because I want to be kicking some ass, you know? But I also want the complete forklift set. Just gonna try and stay in front of this guy the whole time. Just annoy the ever loving shit out of him. <laughs> Just don't let him get in front of me no matter what I do. Sorry, bud. Can't let you do it. Where he was. This dude's falling behind. He's starting to slack off. Ooh, ooh. Come on now. Get overzealous. No, I can't let you up there. It's the rules, man. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Trying to crash him up against those boxes. Okay, these guys should have a sizable lead now. So now I can speed up a wee bit. <laughs> yeah, I have to do it backwards, Dale, in case I actually do screw up, like on the last day, if the, if the first place one is the last one I need. What if I actually screwed up and ended up getting second place, even though I was trying my best? You've got to do it backwards so that you have the best chance of success. I mean, I'm fairly certain I could get first place every day if I wanted to and never fail, but you never know what could happen. Shit happens, as they say. Oh, 
All right, what's the job today? よろしく。この荷物を18番倉庫に運ぶんだ。これがルートマップだ。今日のノルマはこのマップに書いてある。わかった。じゃあ頼んだぞ。これはルートマップ。So this is kind of the opposite of what we did yesterday, I think. Sort of. So we take him from here, bang up left, and I, I think this way is probably faster today. Because it is a straight shot, and then 18 is like kind of in the middle of the two routes, so... I don't know. Today it probably works out about the same no matter which direction you go, honestly. Whoops. That's what I get for checking chat, not watching the road. I am the asshole that I hate. Boxes are in a crappy spot today, though. They're kind of hard to get to. I remember when the fight happens today. Could happen at any time. We gotta be ready. Constantly on guard. Damn it. Sorry, Dale. I'll do better. I was watching a Louis C. a Louis C. K. bit earlier today about road rage, and like he was 100% right about that. Like when I'm in my car, I am a completely different person than I am outside of my car. Like I can snap on a dime if I see somebody doing something stupid on the road or just holding me up and getting in my way. Like I will yell things at people on the road that I would never say to them if they were standing right next to me. But because we're on the road, it's a completely different story. <laughs> road rage is real, man. I inherited that from my mom. My mom has terrible road rage. It's a cycle. the worst crate stacking I've ever done right here. I'm not even going to bother with that other space. I won't need it anyway. Hey, let's go jogging at this harbor with all these industrial forklifts driving around. That's smart. Nothing could go wrong there. Move it, Mark. Oh no. Hitbox porn. Oh, 
Oh, that person's dead. That person is actually dead now. Because I just impaled their freaking eye socket with my forklift tines at full speed. You know, Rio's just practicing the murder for when we find Land E. Killing is a lot easier if you've done it before, so he's like, you know what? Land D probably shouldn't be my first murder, or else I might hesitate. I might have trouble. Let's kill a couple folks just leading up to Land D. That way, I'm nice and ready. Hey man, five kilometers per hour. It's probably all you need when you're talking about a forklift. It takes less than a pound of pressure to, uh, to pierce human flesh. The sharp enough object. I learned that from Firefly. Which is the greatest television series ever made. You should trust my opinion because I also love Shenmue. So you know I'm right about things. Go watch Firefly. Yeah, see, see or knows. She's got excellent taste. I don't think I'm getting another one before lunch break starts. But I'll try. Nope, there's no way. Like, Ryo looks almost angry about this whole situation. He, he smiles after the picture is taken. But, like, during the moment, he's like, Hmm. Nozomi, I'm gonna do this for you. You can have the one where we're closer. It's for you, okay? I'm thinking of you. なんだあいつ。私カナダに行くことにしたわ。え<笑> You know what I just remembered, guys? We probably can't get the cutscene with Nozomi in Sakuragoka Park because it's not past Christmas yet. It's only December 16th. 
So I don't think we can actually do that. Which is too bad. Also, I noticed there, uh, they did the same thing. He called her Harasaki, which is her surname, but they subtitled it as Nozomi, so... Yeah, I see how that works now. Let's do just a little bit of training on today's lunch, guys. So, let's see, I need to train Crawl Cyclone and Stab Armor. Also, I should set Crawl Cyclone to L. That way it's much easier to do. Although I'm kind of nailing it right now. It's harder in the actual heat of battle. It's also hard when the camera shifts perspective and changes the inputs on you. <laughs> That's correct, Dale. He doesn't need to eat because he's a machine. Robo Rio will have his revenge. Well, you'll be able to eat in Shenmue 3, Sinor. They say that there are... I think he said there's over 140 shops in Shenmue 3? And you can actually shop in 70 or 80 of them? Something like that? Yeah, it's actually a big part of the game. You actually have to eat to keep your stamina up. If you don't have stamina, you won't be able to run or fight and do things like that. So you actually have to always make sure that you have food handy. Sorry if that was a spoiler he didn't know about. <laughs> These are things they've been talking about for a long time with Shenmue 3, so I just kind of consider it common knowledge. Like it's been out there for a while. Okay, then... It's forward, back, back for stab armor, right? Not getting it. Do I have to look at the goddamn... I bet I have to look at the damn move scroll. Even though it was already translated for me. Yeah, I'm not sure about that, Sinor, if they're going to include a eating animation. I don't think they will most of the time. Shenmue 3 has been a little less... How, how should I put this? <laughs> There's a slightly smaller focus on the realism this time around. That's true from everything to the graphics to the animations. They're not animating every little thing anymore. Like, you won't see the animation every time you buy a capsule toy. The graphics are a little bit more anime than they are realistic. You know. We have to go into Shenmue 3 recognizing that they had a budget and they did what they could with the budget they had. They didn't have, like, unlimited funds like they did with this game. So, you know, it is what it is. That makes me so angry. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go in and look at it. Alright. Well, they kicked me out of training. Let's see, I've got about 
an hour and a half. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this in this session, guys. I think we're going to have to take a break, like, on day five, and I'll just have to come back later tonight. Because even just, like, the last day of this game takes, like, an hour and a half or something like that. I've actually got to run to GameStop because uh, you may remember on an earlier stream I mentioned that I ordered a brand new Xbox One controller from Amazon. Just for the express purpose of playing Shenmue 3. So that I know that I have a good controller that's going to work. And um, it turns out that Amazon screwed up my shipment. They gave me the wrong box. So instead of getting my Xbox controller, I got somebody's hanging closet organizer. <laughs> and they won't send me a replacement until I return that item. And they sent me a return label with a link for return instructions. And when I click on the return instructions, it just takes me to a page that shows me recommended items. It doesn't actually have the return instructions. So I don't even know exactly how I'm supposed to do that. So the point is I just have to go buy a controller from a local store so that I have it for tomorrow because Amazon failed me hardcore. Yeah, that's a good question, Jansky. I always wonder about that myself because this game came out before the Lord of the Rings movies, but obviously the Lord of the Rings books existed before this game. So, I think it would be hard to argue that Chai was directly influenced by Gollum. Because he never had, like, a visual representation of his mannerisms and his looks and his voice and all that. But I... I wouldn't be surprised if somebody who was involved with Gollum's movie adaptation was a Shenmue fan. I'm just saying I wouldn't be surprised if they were aware of Chai and were like, hey, that dude's pretty gross and creepy. Maybe we should uh, incorporate that a little bit. I have no proof of that. But you can't deny their similarities. And that's okay, Dale. There will be the YouTube backup. I kind of messed up by cutting this so close to the launch of Shenmue 3. I didn't really intend for that. But such is life. weird. Okay. I honked at Goro. That's a good point, Mr. Charlie. I've never seen that movie. Is the Gollum in that movie similar to the live-action Gollum?
that guy taking pictures again? That dude really gets around this harbor. I wish I could move the camera around while I was driving my forklift. You'd be able to take in the sights better. Gotcha, Dale. Yeah, I've never seen that adaptation. So, uh, I can't speak to it. Backing up. <laughs> Go away. Losing all sense of organization for these crates. Just throwing them wherever. That guy wasn't even in front of me and I made him back up. That was mean. Oh my god. or like a gargoyle with pointy ears and stuff. Hmm. Sounds weird. Mizuki! What's up? One more hour. Not gonna be able to finish all these boxes today, but that's okay. Get as many as we can. See, I'm working hard, dude. You don't have to worry about me. Oops. 
bet I can get two more before the workday ends. That's my goal. Get, get out of here. Okay, one more. Let's make it quick. It's so imperative that I get the yen for this one more crate. It's going to matter long term. So. Wow, they're sending everybody out here. Look at this crap. There's a whole parade of douchebags. Just in my way. Oh my god. Is this a joke right now? <laughs> it's fine. Still have plenty of time. Not bad for an honest day's work, guys. Not bad at all. Watch out! Oh. Let's see if I can ram this guy into the ocean. さん。ほら、今日のバイトはい。お疲れ様でした。Okay, now what? Don't have anything specific to do today. I think there's an event at night that we have to do. It's one of the motorcycle fights, I think. I don't think there's actually anything going on until it gets dark. Now's probably a good time to go do that other translation. Just to see it. Keeps doing it backwards. わがともは。ああ、聞きたいことがある。新大臣と合わせてくれ。親父は今はいない。なら、お前でもいい。話があるんだ。
guys hear that bird calling in the background? I've always wondered what kind of bird that is. It sounds very distinct. Tom. Hey, Ryo. ちょっと聞きたいことがあるんだ。マッドエンジェルスがどこにいるか知らないか。I yeah, they take their security very seriously, Dale. As it turns out. Honey-san. Hi, Ryo. Mad Angels no yatsura o mita koto arimasen ka? Kono mai, shokudo no hou de mikaketa wa? Kouan shokudo no hou desu ne. Yoru ni naruto, ano chikaku ni yatsumatte ru mitai da kedo. Yoru, kouan shokudo ka. The Harbor Lounge at night. Ano... マッドエンジェルスのことなんですが。ごめんね、わからないわ。わかりました。Surprised we didn't get a notebook entry for that. あの、第8倉庫に行きたいんですが。Yeah, I've been streaming for three hours, guys. お名前は葉月と言います。はい、伺っております。お通りください。Time just flies when you're forklifting, you know. まないな、忙しいところ。一体何の用だ。これを読んでほしいんだ。巻物それも中国ものか。捕らえよ、捕らえよ。何時は森の王にして勇者の風格を称えん。静かなること、泰山のことし。速やかなこと、いかづちのこと
Ah, oh, that nice calming music. And now we're gonna go get in a fight with a motorcycle gang. Because that's just what we do. Hey, bum, get back here. You gotta teach me the cross charge. Where the hell are you going? Oji san. You want another coffee? Turns out I've got plenty of money now. Yes. This shit is awesome. I love how at this point you don't know that Rio has a motorcycle license, so like He just seems like a natural prodigy on a motorbike. Oh, oh it's so good. Yeah, they still subtitle it though, Jansky. Oops, I seem to have blundered into another trap. Work out my crawl cyclone here. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh. oh, that looked brutal. Judo yeah. chop. Oh there, pal. Ooh, that was dope. Bring it, Charlie. I've been waiting a long time to get some revenge on you. Sometimes if you time it just right, you can do that and then do a trample kick and Rio hits him while he's like doubled over like that and it just looks really cool. Yeah. It's a little tricky to pull off though. Oh, it's like that, huh? Ah, I can't get it now though. Damn, I didn't get the hit. All right. Should probably stop screwing around and just finish him off. Oh, 
Okay. That'll work. <clears throat> yeah, that guy's definitely dead. Rio killed him. アテンジェルスと修門とはどんな関係なんだ。知らねえ。何待ってくれ。修門だかなんだか知らねえが、近々中国の組織の大物が帰るらしい。大物？ああ、そいつを沖の母船に運ぶクルーザーを用意させられた
I apologize to anybody who just got here. Uh, the good news is, I'll be back in... I hope to be back online in three or four hours to finish this out. This is going to take like another two or three hours of solid time put in, and I just don't have the time right now. But I'll be back soon, and if you can't come back for that stream, totally understandable. Check out the uh, archive on YouTube. And uh, yeah, we'll be ready for Shenmue 3 in just about 24 hours from now, hopefully, if all goes well. So thank you again, everybody who came out. Uh, Sinor, Dale, Renjiro, Crappy Nappy, everybody. Really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. And I will catch you guys next time. Have a good day.